Hey, Cancer, let's do your reading. My romance angels will do the love portion first. Ooh, okay, I have new love. And give your relationship a chance. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. With give your relationship a chance, like give this person a chance. Don't jump right into it though. Take things slow and get to know this person, okay? Before you get hooked on them, before you get addicted, before you get caught up in limerence, right? Get to know this person first. Three months. You need at least three months to get to know someone. Don't go immediately after a week thinking, oh, I want them to be my person. Wow, nothing wants to come out. Tell me more about new love. Okay, so have the Queen of Wands. You could have fire in your chart. You could be dealing with a fire sign. I read for the feminine, so then obviously that would be um, a male. The Queen of Wands, though, as an archetype, like this woman, she follows her intuition and she takes action on what it is that she needs to take. You want to embody that, embody that spirit. Sunflowers may be significant. And I also have the queen of swords could be dealing with an air sign. Okay. She has boundaries though. She will cut you off in a second, which is great. That's how it should be. All right. So this is, this is all you. Nine of Pentacles, feeling very secure, very stable. Tell me more about the relationship. Tell me more about this person. Cards jumping everywhere. I have judgment. This is about you needing... It's right on Give Your Relationship a Chance. This is about you needing to make a final decision as to what it is that you want in a relationship. So it flows to you. Okay. I call that process build a bear. Um, I have a template. You were able to get it and make them chase you. You'll be able to get it in the new program that comes out on October 1st. Um, where you go through every single aspect of the person, whether it's an SP, an X, or a brand new person, okay? You go through every single aspect that you want in your person, in your relationship. Do you want a provider? Do you want a protector? Do you want someone who's super masculine? Do you want uh, someone who's wealthy? Do you want someone who's affectionate, who's intelligent, who's a great speaker, who knows how to resolve conflict? You have to decide on all of those things. You have to let go of the fear that you're going to get your heart broken. That's all you'll keep bringing in. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, you may be in hermit mode right now. Well, you're coming out of it because it popped in sideways. And you're no longer waiting for uh, this person to show up. This person will be, if they, ha they haven't shown up, they will be showing up soon. I have seven of pentacles like sideways, almost in reverse. That tells me you won't be waiting long. This tells me you're waiting. You got to let go of these fears though. You're in charge of your destiny. Like I teach, are you the cause or are you the effect? Are you, are you causing your reality? Yes, you are. But do you believe you're the effect? Do you believe that it's happening to you? 
because it's actually happening for you by you you're creating this okay you can change your destiny anytime you please all right again you have to let go of these you have some limiting beliefs here some fears you have a fear of being left out in the cold now it's in reverse so that tells me that you're over that but you got to be careful you don't like slide back into this energy because that's exactly what's going to happen you'll be left out in the cold see if you have if you have been repeatedly bringing in people and it's great in the beginning and then all of a sudden they ghost you or they don't want to see you anymore or you barely see them or they're not consistent it's because you have a belief that you're going to be left out in the cold you have a belief that you're not a priority you have a belief that you're not chosen you have a belief that you will always have your heart broken or that you'll create or that there'll be third parties created but you're the creator okay so stop creating that crap that's with your thoughts work on your self-concept let's see what's, what else is going on here yeah okay you are going to be moving forward like i said you have this person coming in you don't even see that coming but you also believe in goblins you believe that something outside of you could ruin this for you you have to change that fives are going to be significant fives are change Like you believe in goblins, you know, you don't have to, if you believe in them, then there are, they exist. If you stop believing in them, then they dissipate, they disappear. I have strength. I love this. I love this card. I mean, here's the thing. Do you want love? A protecting treasure okay this is you protecting your heart essentially sabotaging your connections or can you embody strength okay this woman is balancing the entire world on one leg she's got one leg up in the air and one leg balancing the entire earth you, she doesn't look like she's uncomfortable. She looks like she's doing it with ease. So can you. So do you want to embody strength? Or do you want this? The goblins and the need or the feeling that you have to be protected or that you have to protect yourself. Pick, pick a timeline. Right? Like pick one. I'd assume that you'd pick strength and love. And when you do, you get the nine of cups, which is the ultimate in terms of happiness. So there's a lot of blue here that I'm getting pulled to. Blue is th throat chakra. Like, with this, give your relationship a chance. Don't speak to this person out of fear. Don't be saying, I'm always left out in the cold. I'm always ghosted. Please don't do that to me. Don't, don't have those conversations out of fear. Be open and honest. But don't be like making yourself out to be the victim in all of these scenarios again you're creating your reality you want to be perceived as a victim you may get something out of that and you have this two of cups okay follow exactly what i'm telling you to do in this reading and you'll end up with the, the two of cups let's get 
goddess card. Of guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. I love that. That's really beautiful. We need to spend, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, you need to spend more time outside. I was getting pulled to like the, the greenery here. And then I looked down and I saw the second card is get outside. I don't know if you could see that. So go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. The moon is significant. You get a lot of messages, especially at night. You may want to buy yourself flowers. For some of you, flowers make you, you very happy. So buy them for yourself. The ocean, you may live near the ocean. The ocean may be significant here. Or even just taking a trip. For some of you, you collect seashells. Others of you, you believe in these fairies. Ask the fairies to help you. Like whatever it is that you believe in, angels, ancestors, spirit animals, call them in to guide you, to assist you. All right. I love you guys. You got this.